I have really struggled with my mental health through this thing. Don't you think that'll improve if I'm able to be home? If Garrison and Gabriel can cease their social lives, then I can come home. Garrison is really the reason that Cody is staying away right now. I'm not gonna kick him out this close to that goal. I mean, for you to, to feel like you could come back here, it's about all of those rules. You would have it so that we don't go to the grocery store. You we can don't go to the grocery store. Make anywhere. it one person, you socially distance while you're there, you come home, you change your clothes. I am hearing, and you're not hearing me, that I'm sorry that I freaked out because it was little things, but it was just one thing too Jeanette, much. it's okay that you freaked out. The verge of washing my hands of it. I'm gonna have Gabriel and Garrison move out of the house. I'm sorry, here's the problem. Janelle's name is on the lease, so I can't evict them. During the COVID-19 pandemic, in an instance from approximately a year ago that's been previously chronicled, Cody got into a fight with his two adult sons because he felt they weren't abiding by his rules and procedures. Folks, Cody Brown is coming to show you how incorrect you are. With these early season New Sister Wives episodes, did you think he had struck rock bottom as a spouse? You believe that his statement that he never monitors his small children was a low point for this 17-year-old father. Well, Cody is about to show that he is capable of being a worse parent and human being. Hey everyone, welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. Cody Brown has made it obvious in Sister Wives that he expects four wives to put their love for him before their relationship with their kids. He even stated that he intended to remove two of his kids, Gabriel and Garrison, from their mother's house without her permission. Although having no legal authority to do so because Cody is not a signatory to the lease, he is callously demanding that they move out. Despite the fact that the COVID-19 regulations stringent enforcement is intended to protect the family, something else seems to be the real driving force behind this. When this episode was filmed last year, Garrison Brown, who was 22 at the time, had been working hard and saving money so he could purchase a house and leave his mother Janelle's home. He only needed a few more months of working and saving at the time, which is remarkable for someone his age. His father, Cody Brown, wanted him to leave his mother's home because he refused to give up his career or social life in order to adhere to the family's COVID-19 routine. This made the need to move into his own apartment all the more urgent. Last year, Gabe Brown, who was 19 years old, shared a residence with Janelle. He infuriated Cody when the outbreak initially started because he was still visiting his buddies. Now that all of his pals have moved away, perhaps for college and other interests, Janelle claims she's truly concerned about his loneliness. Yet, his lover is the only person he still socially interacts with. He was looking for a job at the time but was not employed. One of Cody's regulation for his adult children is that they aren't allowed to be around him if they have any form of social interaction outside of the home or work outside of the home, even if they socially isolate themselves and adhere to COVID-19 policy at work. At the time, Robin's two adult children were living with her, but they seldom ever left the house. Cody and his wives didn't even have to leave the house to go to work. Three of the wives sell MLM items to supplement their incomes while the family's primary work is filming the reality show. So on Sister Wives last year, Cody Brown asked his then-wife Janelle Brown to enforce the stringent COVID-19 guidelines on their older sons. Garrison and Gabriel, their sons, both attended school and work outside the home, making it hard. Cody insisted that Janelle remove the guys as she tries to explain this to him. Fans of Sister Wives are in disbelief that Cody would recommend doing anything like that, particularly during a pandemic. Cody instructs Janelle to expel his boys, Garrison and Gabriel. The coronavirus regulations were both brought up once more by Cody and Janelle in the Sister Wives episode that airs on January 2nd. Janelle claims that because her sons are using the time to save money, she does not want to evict them. They're adults, Cody adds as he interrupts her. Bye bye. Listen, I've been sensitive to this issue with Janelle and her kids this entire time, Cody says to the camera, and until I discovered I was being misled or tricked, I tolerated a lot for a very long period. It was at that time that I began to lose patience with it. You should just order the boys to go, I tell you. I'm going to have Gabriel and Garrison leave the house, Cody reaffirmed. Sorry, but this is the issue. I'm unable to evict them because the lease is in Janelle's name. Fans of Sister Wives are horrified that Cody wanted to evict his boys during the pandemic. 
One fan expressed their thoughts on Cody's desire to oust Gabriel and Garrison in a letter. Janelle and her kids? Are you kidding me, Cody? They wrote on Reddit. In the midst of a pandemic, you want Janelle to expel her kids from the house. You are the most worst, most nasty father there is. Imagine how heartbroken his children must be watching these episodes when he shows no regard for them. In reality, he's sacrificing every relationship he has for Robin and her kids. This dude is sick, please. I can't believe he would be so heartless to his own children, a different follower remarked. I can't even begin to fathom how hurt his kids would be to see this. He's always been a jerk, but this is just a new level of nasty. In the midst of a pandemic, where are his barely adult children even meant to go? He referred to them as Janelle's kids, not their kids, his kids, or his kids. Janelle prefers her children to Cody. You know my dad sent me out with a car that I earned and $50, Cody said to Janelle in the episode. He says, my dad tossed me out at 18 and sent me with a bad car to go live in Utah. Whatever, as Janelle makes fun of him in the confessional. You know what? Look, I'm not just that kind of parent. This era and time are different. You don't just throw your kids out of the house when they turn 18 and wish them luck. To decide where the family will stay for Thanksgiving, Cody and the sister wives get together. Janelle won't be able to quarantine for two weeks so that Cody can feel safe remaining there since her sons will be leaving the house for school and work. Janelle addresses the cameras after yelling at Cody to F off and leaving. She says, I guess I'm just frustrated since I'm in this pickle right now. She continues, I need to make sure my kids are secure. The minds of my children are sound. Having given them the best chance possible, I am then forced to decide between my own rules and the families, which aren't really that different. I'm trapped, I guess. Here, I'm helpless. For Thanksgiving, I don't want to be alone. Cody's suggestion that his sons be expelled is viewed by many Sister Wives viewers as unfair. While it might enrage Cody, Janelle's apparent decision to put her children's need ahead of his demonstrates what a fantastic mother she is. The father of 18 children recently apologized directly to the kids who stopped talking to him, though. In the season's last Sister Wives one-on-one -on -one special, Cody Brown expressed his desire to make amends with his estranged sons. Cody claimed that by deviating from his stringent COVID-19 rules, his sons had disrespected him. He had also stated that it's up to his sons to seek peace. However, Janelle thinks Cody is unwilling to consider her son's perspective. The mother of six who recently announced that she and Cody were divorcing claimed that one of the things straining her marriage was the conflict between her sons and Cody. Sakanya Krishnan, the host of the Sister Wives one-on-one -on -one special, claims that it appears that Cody has repeatedly accused Janelle of being the reason for their estrangement. Then he makes the following comment. She never joined forces with me. I don't hold her responsible in any way. He claims that she never supported him. Krishnan interjects and stated, but that is essentially blaming and finger pointing. You may choose to be with me or your kids, she said. Cody says he doesn't know why the matter is so complex and thinks his sons ought to have either moved out or followed his rules. When Janelle had to move, they went out and found residences. Why couldn't they leave and get houses so that they could continue dating during COVID, he asks. The 53-year-old recalls the pandemic's terror, which prompted stringent measures. If one of my little children were to perish as a result of someone having to moisten their pencil, he adds, slamming the chair, I was really enraged by that. Do you comprehend how difficult it would be to ever forget the man who was carrying that home to us if one of my children passed away? According to Cody, he merely wished to defend his family. I'm no longer friends with those two boys, he says. I can't even have discussions with them anymore. It's quite terrible. Cody looks at the camera and apologizes when asked what he wants to tell his sons. I'm sorry, boys. I was attempting to safeguard my family. I'm sorry and I'd handle it differently next time, he says. Janelle mentions Cody's estrangement from her sons in the show and claims that Gabriel and Garrison feel rejected. Cody has done nothing at all. He still presents himself as the destination, she claims. The mother of six later claims that the situation wasn't required to play out this way. She claims that if he'd been truly concerned about her and the kids, he would have found a solution that worked for the entire family rather than sticking to his strict rules and spending time with Robin where he was admired and obeyed. That ends today's video. Please leave a comment below to let us know what you think will happen. Like and share this video to stay up to date on their progress and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. 
subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates and we'll see ya in the next video.